Okay, while some of us are still registering for a TED-Ed account, uh, please be aware that uh, the web links mentioned in this uh, session are available on the handout on the session forum. There will be three um, handouts on the forum, uh, on the session forum by tomorrow, and uh, you'll see as we go through what, what each of them are. During this session, uh, important information is going to be posted in the chat window on the right side of the screen. Uh, you will be accessing text there to save time so you don't have to type when we're creating the lesson. So it will be copying and pasting into your lesson. And please be reminded that uh, during this session I'll be referring to this screen and the, the display in front of you right now as Big Blue Button. So we'll be talking about Big Blue Button, going to the Big Blue Button or going to your, your lesson. I'm hoping that everybody has the concept of uh, using tabs in their browser down, um, because uh, later on in the lesson, I would love to, if everybody could have the big blue button in one tab and the TED Ed Lessons resource in another tab. If you're more comfortable with a uh, big blue button in a separate window and TED Ed Lessons in a separate window, um, that, that's fine as well. It just to remind you, the chat window is on the right. If you have any questions, please type them in the chat window and I will address them as, as I have a time to, uh, I'll, I'll fit them in as throughout the presentation. Hopefully if it's a general question, you can hold on till the end and we'll, we'll answer them then. Thank you. Hi everyone and welcome to Create a TED Ed Lesson. Uh, I'm John Allen. I'm a, an EFL instructor and learning, learning materials developer in Qatar. I've been a Tesla Ontario member off and on since 1998, so I feel like I'm one of you. Oh, actually, I am one of you, what am I saying? Um, the TED Talks conference series has inspired me so many times uh, that when I discovered TED Ed and the potential it offers my students, I was very excited. I hope that you can find ways to use the resources we reveal tonight with your students in the future. On November 2nd, a blog posting on the Tesla Ontario blog page focuses on the TED Ed Lessons resource. You can read it to continue to learn about TED Ed Lessons. Tonight, we'll introduce some of the TED resources. There are, there are several that might be useful to, for you and your teaching requirements. We will, have a sur we, we, will survey, we will also survey a TED Ed Lesson, then we will create a TED Ed Lesson. We will conclude with a question and answer session. Um, starting off, uh, in the TED family, there are several resources. We will talk about four of them here. The first is uh, TED Talks. Can you um, indicate on the poll below, or on the poll on your screen, if you've ever watched a TED Talk? Wow, that's amazing, yeah, that's, that's great. So this is, everybody's quite familiar with this resource. This is really encouraging for tonight. I'm sure that we can talk about what you've seen and what you've been inspired by. Um, all night, but we're gonna we're gonna go forge forward. At the moment, there are over 2,000 TED talks posted. Post, 2,000 talks posted on the TED Talks website. Uh, they cover a wide wide variety of topics, as you well know by the uh, the results of the poll. Uh, these talks inspire, engage, challenge, and motivate us. Um, another resource from TED are the YouTube channels. These provide very niche resources. They include the TED Talks, as we, we all are familiar with, the TEDx Talks. Um, TEDx Talks are independent conferences, not uh, gleaned from the main TED conference series. Uh, we even have them over here in the Middle East, and it, it makes us, it, TEDx uh, Talks are quite good because they focus on sometimes local issues that uh, are, are very, very relevant and, and very helpful for communities. Uh, TEDx Youth Talks, those are for younger thinkers. They're quite interesting, especially if you're teaching high school or, or younger, younger students. They might be inspired by them. TED Fellow Talks, these are talks um, created or delivered by emerging scholars. These are, it's all just, just on YouTube, great resources on YouTube, presented by TED. Another TED resource is the TED Educational Animation Series. These, of course, appeal to students of all ages. They're so well done that in many cases, students don't even realize that they're watching an animation as they're focused on the content. 
These animations are tightly quality, they're tightly quality controlled to ensure a reliable learning experience. I, I used a few of these with my students over here and I couldn't believe the results. Um, I, I teach adult, adult students in a college situation. They were just unbelievably engaged and uh, it was a very good experience. I got all sorts of diverse language out of them using these. Uh, TED Ed Lessons is a final TED resource that we're going to introduce tonight. Each lesson uses a video or animation as its focus. Lessons are a five-stage learning event. Teachers have the option to display any combination of the five lesson activities. All of the lessons do not contain all of the five. All of the lessons do not have to contain all five, five of the following. The first stage is watching a video. The second uh, section is thinking about a video and answering questions about the video. The third section is digging deeper with additional information and resources to explore. And the, that's followed by discussing. The students discuss teacher prompts or questions in a form style. And finally, there's a section called, and finally, uh, with, concluding, con with concluding comments, issues to ponder, or links to further lessons. There's another important resource that is not actually a TED resource. Uh, these are the millions of videos hosted on YouTube. With TED Ed Lessons, you can use any YouTube video as the focal point, which is amazing. Think of the potential. You can actually locate a video out there on YouTube, which there's, there are millions and millions, and pop it into TED Ed Lessons, and then wrap, make, customize your lesson to, to suit your students around that video. So the resources available are, in summary, TED Talks videos, the TED YouTube channel, the TED Educational Animations, and the TED Ed Lessons. Okay, let's explore the TED Ed Lessons in more detail. Okay, okay let's take a look at an overview of the learner's experience of a TED Ed Lesson. Uh, due to the time constraints of this webinar, please keep watching this screen. Please do not leave the big blue button. While on the TED Ed Lessons page, a student selects the menu item lessons. Then the student locates a lesson and clicks on it. In this case, how stress can make you sick. As you see, it's not just a video, it's actually a full lesson. The lesson page appears. Hopefully the student reads the lesson introduction in the let's begin area. That's up here, the let's begin area. Uh, with my students, I have to guide them to go to the let's begin area and we, we read the the introduction together. Um, as you can see on the right side, there's a menu of, of the, the sections of the lesson. There's watch, think, dig deeper, and discuss. This lesson does not have an and finally section. That's just the choice of the, the lesson developer. When you start a lesson, it defaults to watch the video section. The student will first play the video, watch the video, and after the, they've watched the video, they move to the think section. In the think section, there are sets of multiple choice or open-ended questions as determined by you, the teacher, or lesson developer. The student will complete the multiple choice questions for instant feedback. Um, multiple choice questions include a try again feature for, you know, for limit, uh, to assure success by giving them as many opportunities as, as uh, possible to, to get the correct answer. Students are allowed to, take the re to retake the questions as much as possible. As well, there's a video hint button. This is a, a really nice feature. When you use the video hint button, it will play back footage starting at the point of the video providing the context for the question. This is very easy to set up and we'll do that tonight. After the quiz is over, the student moves into the dig deeper section. Here, he or she is provided with more information on a topic or further links to more resources or even more challenging tasks. We will set one of these up as well tonight. In the discuss section, the student reads a prompt. 
uh, he or she is encouraged to contribute to a forum discussion. On this screen, there's a very powerful feature. Okay, sorry. So the discussion area is, is simply a, a forum. You must remember that uh, teachers and students must be registered with TED Ed Lessons to participate in a forum. So on this screen, there's a very, very powerful feature. Can anybody see it? Type your educated guess in the chat box, please. Respond, yeah, that's, that's very, very important for um, the actual activity itself. Yes, it is. Uh oh, somebody, somebody knows what I'm looking for. Oh, there, there you go. Yes, it is, it's customize this lesson. It's very, very, very super powerful, more powerful than respond, which I must admit is, is powerful. But customize this lesson gives you all sorts of superpowers as, as a teacher wanting to create content for their students. So you can, this button allows you to take lessons that others have made public and repurpose them for your own students or requirements. You might want to do this to accommodate for language levels in your class or for other reasons, such as refocusing the lesson on another aspect of the topic. This is a super efficient way to use TED Ed lessons. How can we do this? Uh, please be aware that these steps are included. Oh, sorry. How can we do this? How can we customize our own uh, one of the lessons for ourselves? Please be aware that these steps are included in the session handout on the forum, on the webinar forum. Do not leave the big, big blue button yet, please. When you have a lesson that you would like to customize, so for example, if you want to re repurpose this lesson on how stress can make you sick for your students, you click on the customize this lesson button. The lesson page editor appears, and then you would edit the introduction to the, to the lesson text to customize it to your students' requirements. Uh, also notice that your name will appear in the lesson header. The option to exclude lesson sections if you wish. So if you, if you feel that your students will not benefit from a discussion activity, you can just click on the exclude button and it will not appear in your lesson. Then you would continue to edit the think, dig deeper, discuss, and finally sections to match the requirements of your, your course. Then you would publish the lesson under your name. This makes it easier for your students to locate the lesson and the result is a lesson that's suitable for you and your students. Okay, now it's your turn. Let's build a TED Ed lesson. To be efficient, we will all build the same lesson. Use the information displayed in the chat window, copy and paste it into your lesson, as I, I uh, indicated to you. You'll be working on your TED Ed lesson in another tab or window. You will, if you are in, when you are in the TED Ed lesson, on the TED Ed lesson page, you should be able to hear me as you create your lesson. But the idea here is that you're going to have to go, come, go back and forth between the big blue button and your TED Ed editing page. Okay, if you are not already at the TED Ed lessons page, can you go to the chat window and copy this URL? or this web address and open up TED Ed Lessons. Can you indicate by um, clicking on the hand icon on the left side of the screen when, you've, when you have both, both the big blue button open and the TED Ed Lessons open? As well, hopefully, uh, I, I'm just assuming that you will log in as well. Quite a few of you have, have uh, raised your hands. If you are just going to take this webinar in a passive mode and you are not going to edit, please raise your hand to indicate that we can move forward as well. Oh, the raise hand uh, icon is in the left side of the screen underneath the, the list of users. It looks like a left hand with its thumb extending. Thanks, Judy. I see your hands up now. If you have logged in or signed into uh, LinkedIn, or at TED Ed Lessons. Okay, I see that some of the people who had their hands up before, their hands are now down. So I'm assuming that the majority of us are up and ready to go. If you have, if you're not 
Seth, can you please type in the the chat windows to indicate that we can that you're having a problem? Monica, your hand. Your hand's not raised, Monica, but it's okay. It seems that some of them were, were cleared off. So uh, we're going to move on. So I'm assuming that you have the big blue button in one tab or window. And okay, Francine, sorry. That's okay. If you want to just watch, that's fine. You'll get just as much as if you watch. So if you look, uh, if you have, I'm assuming that you have a one tab or one web page that has the big blue button and another tab or, or window that has ed, TED Ed Lessons, and you're signed in. So let's build our lesson. On the TED Ed Lessons page, I would like you to locate this, this link or button called Create a Lesson, and can you click on it, please? The, the link, the button is called Create a Lesson. What will happen is the Find a Video um, page will, the Create a Lesson page will appear, and the first step is find a video. Uh, the video we're going to use for our lesson tonight is a simple video. And if you return to the big blue button and look at the, the web address I've just uh, pasted into the chat window, if you can copy that web address and then paste it into the find a video text box area, as seen on the big blue button screen. Then if you could, click on the search icon. It looks like a magnifying glass. Can you uh, raise your hand if, you've, if you are at this point, you've clicked on the search icon? If you've clicked on the search icon, the select a video screen should appear, uh, should become active. I like your icon, Adrian. If you want to watch, that's fine. You can do all of this later. The step-by-step -step instructions will be on the forum tomorrow morning. That's okay, Leon. Okay, so we're going to move on. So step two is select a video. You should see a video thumbnail up here. Essentially, what I want you to do is just simply click on that, that image. The get started section becomes uh, in focus or becomes, uh, it appears. Um, what happens is a description appears about how uh, different ways to access the video. Um, you don't have to do anything with that. What I would like you to do is just click on the button Launch Lesson Editor. If you've done this, please raise your hand. Okay, so many of you are in the Lesson Editor. So the Create Your Lesson screen appears. Please change the uh, lesson is listed to unlisted. The reason for that is we are all making the same lesson. If we all push out, if the key sees the same lesson by 30 to 40 people, it will be very confusing and disruptive to the system. So I appreciate that you hide this from the, the, the other users on TED Ed. So just click on that listed and change it to unlisted. Rebecca, can, can, can I clear the hands? Is that, I, is that? I clear the hands. Oh, please, if you could, that'd be fantastic. There you go. Thank you very much. So hopefully most of you are there. And this is going to be our first big copy and paste here. John, Jen can't find something. She says, how to unlist. If you're on the, the editing screen for your lesson, let me, let me get there and catch up with you. Create a lesson. It should be the first thing that appears after you click on launch. Okay, so if we go back, launch lesson editor. If you click on that, at the top of the screen in the lesson editor, you'll see this lesson is listed. Okay, and then you unlist it. Okay, great. Once we're on, on that same screen, what we're going to do is, we're going to focus on the area called Let's Begin. And what I would like you to do, instead of typing an introduction, just copy the 
text that I pasted into the chat window into the Let's Begin text editor text box. Can you please do that now? If you look on the uh, big blue button there, uh, can you tell? If you look on the button, uh, you paste the text in the Let's Begin section. Can you see on, this, on the big blue button screen? Okay, that looks great. Um, can you please not do this? But normally what you would do is press the play icon just to ensure that the video does indeed play. Please don't do that at this moment because uh, we're, we're a bit short on time. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that this video will play. Okay. On the right hand side, uh, click on the think menu item, think. The question editor appears. Click on the multiple choice icon, the one on the left. If, you've, if you are in the multiple choice question editor, please raise your hand. Adrian, that's fine. Just, just watch. It's, it's just as good just to watch. So I would like you now to copy the text appearing in the chat window and paste this into the type in your question text box. Just paste this question in. And uh, please note that there's a time code indicator below that allows you to set the starting point for video review for each for this question. Paste it in the question. Can you please raise your hand? It's kind of funny here. I just read my own question. What is the name of the celebration? I was trying to figure out an answer. Oh, everybody's fast. That's great. Um, can you please type in zero colon one five into the time code indi indicator? And after you've done that, click on the next button, please. Uh, if you've done that, can you unraise your hand? <laughs> if that's possible. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Julie, the uh, time code is, if you look at the big blue button right now, it's in the create question underneath where you pasted your question. So with the question and the time code indicator set, I would like you to click on um, Sorry, I'll click on the next button. Now we need to have an answer, a selection of uh, choices for the students. Uh, if, if you look at the, uh, the screenshot just on the bottom right of this slide, please type in the following distract, distractors as they're pictured, pictured here. Ensure that choice B is checked as correct. So Winterfest, Winterlude, and Winterland are your, are your options. So then I invite you to click on the Next button and the Save button. Next, followed by Save. And then click on the Create Your Own Question button. This time we're going to create an open answer. So click on the Open Answer icon. Open Answer. Oops, sorry. If you are at this point and you're you are at the open answer editor, can you please raise your hand? So at this moment we're in the open answer editor. Um, can you please now copy the text appearing in the chat window and paste it into the type your question text box? After you've done this, please click on the save button. Jen, you should wait till we finish tonight before you start using this resource. Uh, if I could put a smiley face in that comment, I would. Can you lower your hands if you have uh, completed this to this point here and you've clicked on the save button? So you should, you should have your questions pasted and entered. While we're waiting for hands to come down, I gotta say that I, I can't get over how how um, when used in moderation, great this resource is with all all sorts of students. I'm using it with different 
well, I'm not just using them, but all sorts of my peers at my college are using them in, in health sciences, IT, engineering, EFL, communications. It's, it's fantastic. Is there, is there a problem, Natalina, Julie, and Quinta? Quinta, sorry. Is there a problem or? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna move forward, okay? Uh, Heidi, what's no R? What's no R? Is there a grammar or a typo or something there? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Sorry, that's a, that's a page the error. Very sorry about that. Okay, so the next thing we'd like you to do is um, click on the Dig Deeper menu item. Now, this is a bit of a problem because uh, I had this gigantic, this gigantic resource for you to paste paste in, but the chat window will is limiting me in what I can paste. So we're just going to do a little section of that. So could you copy the text from the chat window, paste it into the text editing box in Dig Deeper? The problem uh, we have tonight is we have limited time, but in reality, you would ensure that the hyperlinks, the text modifications, uh, the paragraph spacing, and the, the spelling were all reviewed before you, you published this. When you've pasted that in, uh, you don't have to do any sort of editing now. Click on the Discuss menu item, please. And Heidi, thank you very much because uh, I, I'm going to make that correction for the next time I, I do this face-to-face. -face. Uh, raise your hand if, if you are on the Discuss menu, please. So in the discuss area, um, I would like first of all I'd like you to copy the text that's now appearing in the chat window. Starting at Winterlude is a festival unique to Canada. Can you think? Then I would like you to um, click on start a discussion button, and then paste the text from the chat window into the discussion title text box. And click on new guided the, the new guided discussion button. Uh, raise your hand if you have completed this. Sorry to be rushing you. Remember, your students cannot participate in a, in a in a guided or open discussion unless they're registered. There's a whole other layer of uh, student accountability and and tracking. Um, once, once you get past creating the lessons, you'll have to look on the help files, which are the link is provided in our handout to see how you can manage your class. That's if you, if you require that. Can you raise your hand if, I, if, you, if it's okay for me to move forward, please? It looks like the hands were cleared, so could you raise your hand again, please, if you could look? Okay, it's looking, it's looking positive that we can move forward. I apologize if, uh, if you've fallen behind. Uh, uh, can you please click on the and finally menu item? Uh, please. Yeah, thanks, thanks Rabia, I appreciate that. Um, can you uh, copy the text from the chat window and paste it into the and finally text, ed box, text editor box? And then click finally, after you've done that, no pun intended, click on the Save button. If you're now looking at a Sharing Options pop-up, please raise your hand. Oh, save at the moment, and then publish. Hang on. Yes, sorry, publish. Why is that there like that? Yes, sorry, please click on Publish. I can't change this right now on, on the fly. Could you continue raising your hands if, if you're looking if you are now looking at a sharing options pop-up. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And smileys are appreciated. So what's happened now is you've actually created a skeleton lesson. <clears throat> I would consider with Tesla Ontario maybe running, having someone, one of my peers or myself running a session on how to create each uh, deal with each section to make your your um, your questions and your discussions more effective. But that would be in the future. A good idea for somebody to step up for PD, to deliver PD. Because I, I have to do that with my college anyway. 
So we're moving along. John, I think Heidi had some problem. I where's that? I don't she see it. Put it in the chat. Something went wrong with my attempt too. I can't. I can't see it in my chat window right now. Uh, let me scroll back. She did, and uh, Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. Yeah, there's there's no there's a typo in one of the questions. I think is that it? Um, oh no, yeah. something. Else. Heidi, did you oh no! Oh, I see. She's got a four and four message. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, sorry, Heidi. I guess that's the, the perils of the internet. I apologize for that. Um, uh, the next step is, if you once you have a lesson that you really want to share with your students or colleagues or peers, you would use this pop up to effectively push it out and copy your lesson link. So, but at this point here, just click on the X to close this window. Uh, a screen appears with your lesson and you can preview your lesson from here. At th this point here, we're sort of really running out of time, so you can do that after we leave, if that's possible. Um, if you have questions um, while you're previewing or if you, wanna, if you want to pop up some questions, please pop them into the, type them into the, the chat window and We'll see if we can answer them for you. Desmond, you're welcome. I, I was so overjoyed when I saw this and I, how great it worked. It's fantastic. I, I've got to say, folks, there's something called an iframe tag. I know I better not talk about that, but there's something called an iframe tag. And you might be able to use the iframe tag with one of your technically more technically astute peers or if you know how to use it to embed it into your web page, to embed it, uh, this into your web page. You will be frustrated by the fact that there is no embedding code generated by TED Ed Lessons. I don't know why they don't do that, but they don't. Oh, how do you remove your work uh, in, in the TED Ed Lesson? You click on your uh, way at the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see Ted, and just to the left, it, left of it, you'll see a portrait, a, a dummy portrait. Uh, click on the, the portrait, which is your account. Then you can click on Lessons, and you're allowed to, oh, I uh, it started. If you click on Started, oh no, Published. If you click on published or drafts in that under your lessons menu, you, you can see underneath of the lesson, you can click on delete, the delete icon. That's a very good question. Um, you don't actually, uh, Maria, you, you don't have to just use TED videos or TED animations. You can use any sort of video out there from that's on YouTube and pop it into this feature and it will run. To edit the lesson created, it's similar. You, you use, you go to your lessons through your account. Um, if you click on that portrait, top right hand corner, that will open up, uh, that will open up the option of lessons. Once you click on draft, you can click on drafts or published. And underneath, you're allowed to, you can select the edit icon and edit your lesson. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to find, follow this. Is the only option an interactive lesson? So, uh, could you clarify that question, please? Sylvia, thank you very much. I didn't know about that resource. I'll be looking at that very soon. Ed U. Cannon, for sharing. Really appreciate that. Heidi, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, YouTube has all sorts of issues. Um, I, I'm not sure exactly what the experience, but you can use closed captioning, yes. Um, normally, the, the students can find your lesson if you, if you push out, if you include them in your, when they register, they can actually be part of a class that you set up. Or if you want to uh, send them the link, that's a very efficient way to do it. 
I find uh, the search isn't the best on TED Ed lessons at the moment. The students have to do it uh, online, yeah. Uh, printing out is very difficult with this. You'd have to do it with a specialized uh, screen capturing software. Sylvia, I hope you can use this uh, with your business. That's great. Um, tomorrow, by tomorrow morning, oh, no, sorry, it is tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, by tomorrow morning, your time, if you look at the forum, the the step-by-step -step list will be there for sure. It is actually yeah. already up there. No, no, I don't have, there's one more I'm going to do. That's step-by-step, -step, just creation, generic creation. Okay. I didn't want to put it up simply because uh, it would, if somebody downloaded that now, it would have confused them. Mm -hmm. Yes, the forum's on Tutela. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'll leave it to Rabia and her capable hands here. Well, thank you very much, John. It was a wonderful presentation. I like we all. I'm sure we all enjoyed it uh, equally, and we think that it's going to be our uh, one of uh, very good resources that we will be uh, using in our classroom teaching.